didn't have too much luck nailing that bull elk, but uh, still got to eat, so. Got to forage off the land. Find what you can find and do with what you can do with it. So, got some tasty morsels here. Able to, uh, we're going to make some good eatings on that. We really are. So, uh, that's so all we're going to take one each pot. I, mean, I fashioned this thing out of a pop top I found. But, uh, so we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Wood chips. Wood pieces. Get your rock for base. This is, rocks make good base. More wood chips. Then we got your pine cones. Make sure they're aged. If they're not aged, you don't know what's in them, so you want to get the aged ones. And then we're going to like put that in there. No more pine cones. Another wood chip or two. And uh, some other stuff. Now, what you want to do is like slow roll this. Um, you see i got a fire going here. You don't want to boil it. Boil it's gonna like take all the taste out of it, and uh, uh, that'll be bad. I mean, you don't want to eat bad stuff out here. So, you know, slow roll, slow roll. Got some pine needles. Pine needles are always good for everything. A couple sprigs of pine needles in there. And uh, what you're gonna do once you get all that, we'll mix it up a little bit. And we'll take uh, approximately 1.23 cups of water. We'll add it. We're gonna add it in there. There we go. That's good. Okay. Take a stick. Just kind of like stir it around. Give it some mashing action. All right. Well, to most people, that's kind of bland. But uh, the secret to surviving in the wild. Is to know what kind of spices to use. So, what we got here is a couple. Oh, well, we got accent seasoning. We're gonna put a little accent in there. That'll kind of take the bitterness out of the uh, pine needles. We got here some garlic powder. A little garlic powder in there. There we go. We're gonna put a lot of it in there because uh, that keeps mosquitoes away. It permeates out of your body. Uh, garlic salt too. Garlic powder, garlic salt. You know, but garlic is good. Garlic is really good. So we're gonna really lay the garlic on. Um, never can have too much garlic. Okay. Yeah. Bad in the middle of the night when you wake up and. Uh, you got the garlic farts, but yeah, that's what happens. We're gonna like gently stir that in there. Okay. It gives it an Asian twist. We got to eat kikaman sauce. We're gonna put some kikaman sauce in there. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Just a couple dashes. And uh, yeah, that's a couple dashes. And uh, Another thing we got here is Tabasco sauce. That'll like take away the flavor of everything and give your mouth a nice searing feel, you know? It's like just brings out the taste in everything. Did yeah. So uh, we're gonna add this whole bottle. This whole bottle. There we go. Yeah. Tabasco sauce. Okay. And uh, once that's sat for a while, we'll stir it up and it's is juicing up. What we've got next is some green pine cones. They uh, add, add a little bit more of what we're, we haven't got already. Um, you know, they're always good. Some pine cones, some more pine cones. Yeah, hell oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, everything else. I'm gonna stick all that in there. And then the final. This is kind of like just the piece of daily resistance is dirt, pine needles, and whatever else happens to be around. Okay, we're gonna like stir that up. We're gonna let it soak a little bit. 
That's good to get all those juices permeated in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and this is the secret. This is the secret, and I don't tell anybody this. I really don't. But I'm gonna let you on to something. This will make any wilderness survivor meal just good. You might as well be eating out of it. it makes all the jardin. Okay. And the secret is beer. You top that puppy off. There we go. Now once the fire gets down some coals, we're gonna put it on the fire. We'll cover it. We'll, we'll bake it for about six or eight days. Um, cut it into slices. And uh, this stuff travels really well too. That's the best thing about this meal is you can eat it now and you can eat it later and, and, and uh, you'll know about it later too. You're definitely going to know about it later. Um, look at that. that. Pine cone sticking out. Got to get all saturated. Yep. Everything's got to be soaked. Soaked. Good. Okay. Uh, next time you're on the trail, make sure uh, make sure you know what you're looking for. I mean, there's always plenty, plenty of stuff. Look at this. All that. Look at this. That's going to really spice this up. It really is. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, onto the fire. And uh, hopefully I don't starve before it's done, but uh, it's good feed a half an army. <laughs>